Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm gonna show to use Duke Angela in After Effects. Let's get started. So guys, first one, select this hand layer and go to solo. Let's zoom to layer and go to puppet pin tools. Let's add one puppet here, one here and one here. Then clization tool and go to window, open Duke Angela. Okay, so after open Duke Angela, select this puppet effect or go to effects control, select puppet here and go to click link or click this icon and go to click add pins so we have three pins let's select this pin 3 let's link to pin 2 select pin 2 link to pin 1 and close hand 1 settings select this pin 1 let's link to body and for close this part click toggle switch mode so Select these three pins, go to again tweak and let's use kinematics. Click here, select I key. Right now we have new controller. Select this controller, let's see. Okay, that's all. This very easy and fast way for rigging character. So let's unsolo all these layers. And select controller, let's see nice okay so in this time select this layer iron let's link to controller select controller change name controller hand one and we can change color red okay and select this controller let's see nice very good okay select this body press air open rotation let's see rotation Okay, we have problem with anchor point. Let's go to solo body and go to pen behind. Move the anchor point down. Clisation two and unsolo. Right now, again, chain rotation. Nice, very good. And select this hand two. Let's link to body and select this eyeball, eye white, link to head and select this hair back also link to here select here go to solo and zoom to layer and go to again pen behind move the anchor point down clusation tool and unsolo let's back to again pen behind move the anchor point here clusation tool select here and eye white eyeball let's move to up to body for hide this shadow Okay, so select body, let's see. Okay, I want to link hit to body, select hit, let's link to body. Let's say again. Let's do full body. Okay, very nice. So right now let's make lead animation. Select body first. Let's press air, open rotation, and make rotation keyframe. Let's go to 10 keyframes. For shortcut, you can use hold key, press page down in keyboard, and chain rotation minus 3. Or change minus 6. Okay, let's try minus 10. Okay, that's good. And in this time, select this controller. Let's press P and move to right this hand. Let's zoom to here. And go to here, make new person keyframe, go to the next keyframe, and move to left this iron. And select this layer yellow dress, move to right. Let's see. Okay, so go to middle and select this controller and move to up. Select keyframes, make easies or click F9, let's say animation, nice, and go to here, let's make new parts in keyframe and go to five keyframes, move to back, let's see, 
Ok, we have problem with keyframes here, let's select all keyframes and right mouse go to keyframe interpolation, change curve settings to linear, click ok, let's say again, ok that's good, and select this middle keyframe, let's hold control, let's double left mouse, let's see, nice, and select these keyframes, copy and go to here, make new pass in keyframe and control V for loop animation. Okay, let's select all keyframes, move to the left here. Nice, go to last keyframe, select all keyframes, let's copy and control V for pass. Go to here, again, let's select keyframes, copy and pass. Let's see. Nice, very good. So, let's add other details. Select keyframes, make easies. And let's add here keyframe details, make new rotation keyframe and go to here, change rotation 0, let's see, nice, select last keyframe, move to right and go to here, change this minus 3, ok that's good and go to here, make new rotation keyframe, go to next keyframe, change minus 8 and go to here change minus 2 and select these two frames copy and go to here control V okay let's control Z go to here make new rotation two frame and right now control V for perfect timing and here again new rotation two frame and control V and go to here again new rotation control V let's see nice so in this time select this hand tool let's go to solo and move the anchor point up classation tool and unsolo Ok, right now let's press R, open rotation and chain rotation like this, make new rotation keyframe, go to here, let's chain rotation like this and go to here, let's make new rotation for steel keyframes and go to back, change rotation again like this. So select keyframes, make easies, let's see nice and also let's make these loop keyframes for eight seconds let's do it okay nice so in this time let's close these keyframes and select this head let's see in this time let's select body press u for c keyframes select head and press air open rotation and in this time make rotation keyframe and go to here change rotation let's select first keyframe change rotation like this okay so in this time let's make new rotation here and go to like this and change rotation zero select keyframes make easies let's see Nice, select these copy keyframes, let's control C and go to here, make new rotation keyframe and control V. Okay, go to here again, make new rotation and paste keyframes and go to here again, make new rotation and control V for paste keyframes. Nice, and here make new rotation and control V. Ok, very nice. So, select this hair back, go to solo, and go to pen behind, move the anchor point up, classation tool, and unsolo. Select hair back, and press air open rotation. Let's see. Let's make rotation keyframe, and go to here, change rotation like this.
and make new rotation here go to next keyframe change rotation like this let's change zero say keyframes make easy okay let's copy again keyframes Control C, go to here, Control V, and here, Control V, and here, and here. Okay, nice. So, select this layer close and go to solo. And let's go to Puppet Fin Tool. Let's add one puppet here. And one here and here. Clicization tool and select this puppet. Let's go to add pins. Let's click here. Okay, select this puppet pin one. Let's link to puppet pin two. Select puppet pin two. Link to puppet pin three. And select these three puppets. Go to kinematics and I key. Okay, let's select controller. Okay, we can animate this layer close like this. Let's unsolo and this layers unsolo. Let's see. Okay, nice. And in this time, let's select this controller, change name, controller close. And let's see timing. And let's press P, make new pass in keyframe, go to 10 keyframes, change like this, and go to here. Let's add some random keyframes for dynamic animation. Select keyframes, make easy. Let's see. Nice, select keyframes, move to left. Okay, and select this middle keyframe. Let's move to left. Okay, let's move to down like this. And last keyframe. Select first keyframe, copy pass. Nice. And select two frames. Let's copy and go to here. Control V. And here, Control V. And here. And here. Let's see. Okay, very nice. So, guys, thank you for watching my video. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like video, and please follow me on Instagram. Good luck.